kiddos to the table, piece of paper, marker, pencil, um, and that's really all you need. So I'm going to go ahead and get this party started for all my peeps that have joined, all my littles. Um, and like I said, Red Nose Day is today, but I'm not going to wear it right now because it's hard to talk to you. So I have my lovely piece of paper right here. Um, your kiddos, you guys need to have your paper. Hi, Cicely. It's good to see you. Thank you so much. Um, you need to have your paper and your kids need to have it up and down. So kiddos, up and down mm -hmm. in front of you on the table, okay? So you need to be looking at your paper like this. Kiddos can really do this by themselves, but it is fun um, to let them just kind of let their flag fly and do their thing. So I tell my kids, my kids that are watching, I hope my Tate and my Lily are watching. Hello, it Kai Kai loves you. Um, point to the middle of your paper. So you're gonna find the middle of your paper and then you're gonna just draw a big straight line, just like that. Okay, and I usually walk around and see, thank you, Kelsey, thank you so much. Um, I walk around and I make sure, ooh, you've got a great straight line. Oh, Lily, I love your straight line, it's so good. Um, just kind of make sure they've got it. All right, after the straight line, you're gonna turn that line into a rectangle, okay? So now you've got a big, long rectangle in the middle of your page, which is super, super fun. Okay, good. So Tate and Lily are watching, so I'm excited. Um, they're my niece and nephew, so of course I'm a fan. So after you draw your rectangle, kiddos, you've got your rectangle in the middle of your paper. You underneath, so this is good for those positional words. Those are kind of our goals that we're working on with directed draw. Underneath, kiddos, you are going to draw a big U, okay? Just like the letter U. Does does mine look perfect? No. And that's the fun thing about directed draw is it is not remotely perfect. So kiddos, you've got your rectangle, you've got your big U. And now after you're done with that, I usually get a thumbs up or pencils in the air and everyone can say they're ready to move on, but we're on the, you know, Facebook live. So we're just going to keep moving and grooving on top of your rectangle. You're going to draw a big rectangle. Okay. Now at this point in the class, we usually ask if anyone has guesses what we are making. So does anyone out there have a guess on what we are working on right now? So does anyone know what we're drawing? Okay, so throw them out here really quick if you have any guesses and we're just gonna keep going. So down here below our U, we're gonna draw kind of like a little mountain top. Okay, so down here is kind of like a little mountain. Ooh, Abraham Lincoln. That's a good guess. Very good. I like that. Okay, so now we're going to get into the big nitty gritty of it. Richard Kleffman, it is a picture of you. Okay, so everybody thinks it's Abraham Lincoln and man with the hat is good. Miss Tudor, she teaches across the hall from me. Frosty the snowman. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I love the guesses. Um, and that's the fun part is the kids will just start yelling out. I think it's this. I think it's this. This next part's going to probably give it away. So after you draw your U and your little mountains at the bottom, you're going to draw five or six lines in your rectangle. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Now I know Abraham Lincoln does not have a hat like this. So I'm going to give it up for Miss Amber Tudor. Woo -woo! It is the cat in the hat. That is exactly who we're drawing. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this puppy up because he's very easy because it is Red Nose Day. He needs a big circle in the middle. Good. I add a little flare because it's a shiny nose. You can see it might have a little sheen on it. So it is my cat. Okay. And the cat has big round eyes and sometimes I'll make his eyes look in different directions or look in the middle and that's coming mom I see what you said and that is what's coming and then we need three whiskers on both sides 
uh, whiskers are those things of the cutie. And this is also the sign for cat, if you are into learning sign language. My daughter taught me that. Um, so he needs three whiskers. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then my favorite is a little smile that's his own personality, which mine's kind of like merp. Merp, it's a nose day. And that, my friends, is it. That is direct to draw. It is that simple. So the rules are at school, once you finish your direct to draw, you have to color it. You have to color it as you know correctly as possible. I have my friend the cat here for a reference. As you can see, he has a patterned ABAB -A -B hat, red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white. And his face is white with some black. And if you want to get jazzy and snazzy as I throw my marker across my kitchen, you can add a bow tie because he's fancy. So after this, after I've done drawing it, if my kids drew a pencil, I went and traced it with my Sharpie first, and then I let them color it so that it would preserve their, their drawing. And I draw exactly over what they drew. So if they had a squibbly line, I drew over that squibbly line so that I could keep the picture their picture. Um, so the other rule, after I would trace their, their pencil marks and I would erase what needed to be erased, um, they were supposed to color their cat or their picture or their direct to draw, whatever it was. And the, the rules were they had to fill in all the white spaces. So they had to make sure they, the outside wasn't white. If it was supposed to be white, they could leave it white. But if it wasn't, they had to color it. And the outside is one color, so that way everything is as uniform. You can use blue, green, red, whatever color in the background. So the next part that's fun about this, the thing that I wanted to do the most, because it's live and so many people are like, I can't, my kids asleep, how do I? It's on Facebook, so now the video is out there. So you can get your kids and you can come back and you can do this with them. And it's very, very simple, but when you're done, I would love for you to post a picture in the comments with your kids' cat in the hat, so or yours. I know I had some friends um, who uh, wanted to play who have no kids um, or kids or babies. So that's the rules. You have to after you've done your direct draw, you need to post in the comments yours, your children's, your grandma's. The neighbor next door, whoever drew this cat in the hat with his red nose today for Red Nose Day, in the comments down below. Um, Mom, we have more than one red nose. Every one of the family has one, so we could pass them around. And that's it. That's all I was doing today on Facebook Live. I just thought it would be fun and interactive, and it was a good day to do it. So happy Red Nose Day. I will put in the comments and the links below. Um, information about Red Nose Day and how you can help. And otherwise, please get your kids and draw me a cat in a hat so I can see it because that's the, the payout is the kids' artwork. It's the best part. So we'll get to see that, I hope, throughout the day. Uh, you guys post pictures of your kids' artwork for Red Nose Day. Uh, hashtag it Red Nose Day. Tag friends that you think who would like this. Otherwise, happy day. Happy Red Nose Day. I love you. I'm getting ready to now go shop with my sister which is awesome so happy day and thanks for joining i appreciate it bye